Hello, this is a demonstration video for a server that Ethan slash TNT Loverwell and I made. It's just a quick video. This is not any official video, but it's just a video demonstrating what the server can do um, to any of that may be interested in beta testing it. And so this is Lifeboat Hunger Games. Oh, darn it. It is our um, survival game server for Pocalution based off the Minecraft PvP. Um, servers of the similar types. As you can see, this is on a multiplayer server. We are running a custom plugin written by Ethan and I um, that automatically manages the tournament. During those first eight minutes of the tournament, players can join because after the tournament uh, tournament starts, players can't join anymore. Uh, also, you are uh, immune to any damage that you may take the environment take from the environment or from other players, as you just saw there. Uh, you are automatic automatically healed. So during this first eight minutes, you can just go about and explore the map, and the server will let you know when it's time for the tournament to start. Right now, it looks like it's starting in two minutes. Um, so during this time, you can also use it to strategize with your friends. Um, it's, but I'm at least hoping that you've played um, desktop survival games before because it's a ton of fun. If you haven't, I really recommend it. Right, and if you have the capability to do so, definitely do so. Um, ton of fun. Um, I'm having a little bit internet like problems because, well, I'm on vacation, so my internet is really terrible. So playing Hunger Games and bad internet is a real pain in the butt because then, you know. Now, this custom plugin, it's a lot like the desktop um, Hunger Games plugin. We have not implemented classes yet. That's something that we're planning on doing later. Oh, and during the first eight minutes, you can't break blocks either because that'd be kind of, kind of be cheating and useless. Okay, one minute. Climb up this mountain here. We have a 256 by 256 map. It's a great map. There's plenty of, um, there's not much water, um, but there's large deserts with great beautiful canyons as well as plenty of trees. Um, I think as well it's is a problem in Hunger Games. Um, the server software that we're using right now, it's entitled Pocket Mine. The only problem with it is that we can't spawn mobs yet. I'm sorry about that, guys, but it's not our fault, we have to wait for the pocket mine people to do it. But, um, pocket mine's awesome. I really recommend it if you're looking at to uh, create a new server, um, or get started with Pokemon PHP is a great language. Um, yeah. Stop rambling now. Okay, 30 seconds. And remember that after the tournament starts, new players cannot join. However, we have th three servers running simultaneously, and they each start at different times, so, um, after this one server shuts down so that the tournament can start, the next, uh, server will start up. And so you can always join a server but after the tournament starts the players can't join. Which is good. And now since my internet connection sucks, I'm probably gonna lose this round because it sucks. And they're gonna be liking okay, the tournament has started. So when the tournament starts, uh, you were teleported to spawn and you can now break blocks. So just like in desktop over games, um, same strategy as thing. I'm just gonna go over this train and start mining. Okay. You can see I'm starting to have lag problems already, but that's because of my connection. It sucks. Okay. Just mining some wood. And during the first two minutes, you do get invincibility, meaning that you, uh, you cannot take damage, which is a so that you can have time to start a base. Um, get some basic resources and so on. Uh, I'm going to craft a stick and a wooden sword. Okay. Now it looks like that box glitched out, which sucks. Okay. Sorry about the tilting problems here. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. I'm going to go up and put my Ninja Hunger Game strategy, which is to go to spawn, which is this grass block right here. And you'll you'll get periodic messages about invincibility too. And just build up. 30 seconds left. No. Turn it. Okay. As you can see, I'm liking pretty badly here. Hey. Oh, crap, it's Ethan with a stone sword. Darn it. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, darn it. I'm just gonna run a little bit here. I suck at internet, I suck at hunger games in this connection. Yeah, and obviously I'm on a phone, so it kinda sucks. But, um, Now, um, in the event that you actually stay alive, um, uh, I can't talk into this at the same time. Uh, in the event that you actually stay alive, um, uh, the tournament will uh, last uh, 10 minutes at the end of it. So the whole entire tournament lasts 22 minutes. Um, after you die, you get kicked and you can't join the server again because um, of the invisibility of it. But you can join another one of our servers and participate in our tournament. Um, the goal is to be the last player standing. Um, we don't have a reward system yet. We are going to be setting up um, online lead awards in a future release. And I'm guessing you're just going to be yelling if we're running here. So. Um, this sucks. I'm cool. This is ironic because I mean I'm really good at Hunger Games on this stuff, but um, suck it out of mobile. Seriously, are you hitting me with a wooden pickaxe? Seriously, then. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So it kicks you at the end, and you can't join again because service is invisible. So okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.